I think it might be helpful, though, just for some uh, context for everyone, if you could uh, maybe just start, though, by giving us a kind of uh, a general high level kind of overview of, you know, what market or hire is as a marketplace and maybe who, uh, you know, the typical kind of startups are that that come to as clients and, and their needs. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a managed marketplace. So, you know, there's I think there's not necessarily a. Sorry, I'm, messages coming around. I think you might be hearing it. There, there, there's not a there's not sort of I think an agreed final uh, definition of what exactly managed means for a managed marketplace, but it just generally means you're more involved than maybe the pricing, maybe the you know the, certainly the talent, the demand and supply sort of curation and how you filter those things. So it's not just open, open, open. So we're a managed marketplace, um, and so. You know, we have the supply side, you know, we have, we have thousands of marketers applying. We have a, you know, around a three to 4% acceptance rate after they get, after they, you know, whoever gets through our vetting, our, our sort of vetting product, um, make it onto the platform that makes up our supply base. And we're always at we're constantly editing that, you know, but I, I just, I mean, early on too, but at, the, at our size, we're constantly making tweaks. So we might make a tweak to, uh, our vetting and our, our, you know, 48 attributes that make up an email marketer, we might tweak that and suddenly we have 200 more marketers or 200 less marketers from the adjustable market because we're, you know, we're, we're tweaking that based on our data and based on some of our own opinions of, of what's changing out there in the world. So we're always having to tune it, right? It's not, yeah, not as simple as an Uber where they just need to get you a car and a driver who's, you know, like a safe driver or, or doesn't have a criminal record, you know, we're, we're constantly having to update. You imagine, you know, what we have to kind of work on to update, to deal with, you know, iOS 14 privacy to deal with, um, or, or, or uh, TikTok or, or a clubhouse launches. So we're always having to tweak, right? Um, and, and that changes our, our sort of addressable supply um, or uh, available supply. And then demand side is very open, you know, so we, we actually do qualify, do a lot of qualification at, at the sales level on the, on the demand side too. Um, and then that allows us to make, you know, effective matches uh, 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 in, the, in, in the middle. So, you know, current customer base um, is all sorts. You know, we, we have um, thousands of customers and everywhere from, you know, Netflix, HP, Allbirds, Costco, Thrive Market, you know, many, many Fortune 500, many, many unicorns. And then of course, like most marketplaces, you know, or these B2B products, you know, a long tail, like mid-market SMB, early stage startups, right? So so uh, a lot of those, but all the way up to biggest companies in the world, you know, biggest startups in the world and everything in between. And they all, you know, get the same product experience. So, you know, we close HP and Netflix to, you know, with the same product experience that, a local business, you know, local bookstore signs up, same product to them, um, which, which again, we you know from day one, you're like, um, the hypothesis was, I think that this will work for everybody. Um, and we've been uh, very happy <laughs> when we find that that's proven true because that that really makes us the most disruptive force. You know, if, if um, you know, a, a C-level person from a Fortune 500 company signs up, a CMO at a Fortune 500 is signing up, and a local bookstore signing up and they're both hiring, you know, within a few days, you know, can't really beat that. Um, so while we're not necessarily true SaaS, our, our business kind of moves a lot like SaaS, it looks a lot like SaaS. 